Welcome back to the channel everyone. Be sure to hit that like button if you like seeing all our little free heating experiments. We've got some cool stuff today. I wanted to come out and bring some facts. So I ended up pulling my little piece of foam out of my box here. I just wanted to show what kind of flow it's getting there. So you can see that it's drawing it right into the hole and you can kind of see it skimming by inside the box. You can see in there a little bit better today because of the actual condensation being pulled out of there. So I was just trying to show the amount of flow going through. It's pulling that right in there. Very cool stuff. So our little intake here was still getting a good bit of draw with the foam in there, but I just pulled it out. I'll be throwing a piece of hardware cloth or small mesh. The sun's finally coming back out. We had a nice sunny start to the morning. It's about 1030 and the clouds started to come over. So I was hoping to get out here and take some temps of all of this before the sun actually dissipated too much. I've got my little water breaking through the ice and snow that I had melting in there. I've just been throwing like a half a bucket of snow in there every day and kind of melting it up. So this little foam was kind of dampering the actual flow of our air coming into the box. Now I could see that smoke. It's really hard to see through this box because of the actual glare. And I could see the smoke coming right through there, flowing right across and basically covering across all of these little radiators I've got in here warming up. So we've got this little thermometer and as soon as I take it out of the fan, it's really going down. I kind of had it placed up in here. It was sitting about 80 degrees. It came down to about 70 once I pulled it out there. So sitting about 80 degrees coming out of the box right now is very darn cool. 80 degrees coming out and we're sitting about 50 degrees inside the greenhouse right now. So we're gonna run some math and I wanna show everybody how to figure out the BTU potential output and calculate that up. It's nice and warm in here. Here, it feels awesome I can see my breath because I had this door and it flung open and I lost a lot of heat down on this end of the greenhouse so it's really warming it back up and it's cold enough outside still right now that we're not even above zero degrees out there and we had like negative nine or ten overnight so it's very very cold out still and being 50 degrees in the greenhouse is pretty darn awesome even without the Sun's rays coming in our Jean Payne heater is holding enough heat in the greenhouse and raising the temp to about 45 degrees on its own. So I'm gonna shut this water off here and get that clicked off so our water will have a chance to rebuild some steam. I need to grab my little whiteboard here and my marker. Hopefully my marker's not too darn cold. So as we've learned in the last few episodes, we've been talking about heating water and heating air. Heating water requires a lot more energy and heating air doesn't require nearly as much energy because it doesn't have that thermal mass or that BTU holding potential like water does. So as I stated in the last episode, heating one pound of air or 13.3 cubic feet of air, which equals one pound, by one degree Fahrenheit only requires 0.24 of a BTU. And this little fan we've got on the back here is pushing about 80 cubic feet per minute which is pretty darn good. That's what you're looking for on some type of ventilation or flow system. So we've got 80 cubic feet per minute and that is a very important number to us to find the actual BTU output of this box. So real quick, if we've got 80 cubic feet per minute, we'll multiply that by 13.3. So we're putting about 6.01 pounds of air out of this box per minute. And that would translate to about 4,800 cubic feet per hour or about 360 pounds of air per hour put out of this box. And mind you, that is on a full sunny day. So that is the max air we could potentially put out of this box per hour or per minute in the best conditions with a fully sunny day. So now that we've covered all of that, I want to take the temps, which is inside the greenhouse coming into the box about 50 degrees coming out of the box is about 80 degrees and it's probably going up, but we're going to run with 80 degrees for right now. So we know our transfer rate, which is 30. So now that we went over all that, we've got our actual formula. We can plug our temperatures in because all you need is the intake temperature and the outtake temperature and you've got to know your cubic feet per minute. So hopefully everybody can see this. It's not too glary. We've got cubic feet per minute times D, which is delta minus T which is the temp entering times 1.08 so we've got 80 cubic feet per minute times the equation 80 minus 50 which would result in 30 times 1.08 so now that we've got the equation down we know what our transfer rate is we've got 80 times 30 times 1.08 so 80 times 30 is 2400 times 1.08 leaves us with 2592 so 
2,592 BTUs per minute being pushed out of this box. So that is a very simple equation once you know your numbers. So I wanted to relate this to the actual box and I wanted to show everybody the data. I wanted to show them how this is actually working and I wanted to show everybody how well this could potentially work. That's a lot of energy per minute being put out of the box because if we're constantly transferring 50 degrees to 80 degrees and up, we're putting a lot of energy out of here and like i said it doesn't require as much energy to raise the temperatures in this box the solar air heating box is not requiring as much energy and we're seeing better results with the energy that's put in from the sun the solar water heating box is already clouding up because I had it running for quite a while and it's losing all of its potential heating. If we're just purging and running this every half hour, we're getting a lot more energy put in because it has time to store and heat all those coils back up before that water flows through. So if we either slow our water flow rate or purge it and run it on a timer we'd be achieving much better temperatures on this actual water heater and having 88 degrees coming out of this box is very very cool that's a lot of energy being put into it just simply from the passive heat by the sun so i've got a lot of interest in this myself and this was very cool i wanted to come out and take some data now that we had a little bit of sun like i said we've got clouds today so it's not full potential right now but that is a lot and lot of energy being put into the greenhouse being banked onto this water melting all of the ice and snow. We're using both of these to bank as much energy into this tank of water that we possibly can. And I hope everybody understood those numbers. I tried to break it down as simple as I possibly could. This is really quite a simple equation. Once you know all of your temperatures, you're able to figure this out. It allows us to figure out what kind of BTUs we're putting out of like a solar heating box or your furnace or anything like that. So I hope everybody found this as interesting as I did. I wanted to get some temperatures. So darn hard to see in this box. I just wanted to kind of come through and show everybody you can see how this is set up and I wasn't getting the best airflow like I said when I had the piece of foam so I got to use some hardware cloth I just wanted to show how well that was drawing air right through that hole and basically running all of the air right across here and bilging it right out as the heat's rising off those fins it's mixing with the air coming in and it's raising it 30 degrees already which is very very cool and we have obviously cleared all of the condensation out of the box because it's warming up blasting it right out the back side here very cool stuff i find this very fascinating because we are just using free energy from the sun so if anyone's got any questions on the little solar heating box i really wanted to bring the data and i felt bad unveiling this without actually bringing temps but it was so darn cold out that i had this box in my garage and it was frozen so i had to let it build up and i was really excited to show it to everybody and show it in action and show the build all together because it's a nice self-contained system we just got an intake simple solar running the outtake and a simple little solar panel and all free and recycled materials